So another one of these after school Satan clubs has popped up this time in Virginia at one primary school, but parents are not just going to sit back and take this. They got a lot to say about it. And well, the location for the after school Satan club has also been called into question, especially involving recent events in that same city. We're going to get into all of it here, guys, in just a second. First, if you could, if YT lets you, try and hit that like button for me. Very important also, you please share the video, help us get around those algorithms. Hit the bell, subscribe, or the glasses because I'm blind. And I remind you guys, if you could help me out here with my goal, set a goal for the month of December, trying to gain five new patrons here to help the ministry out. You go to patreon.com slash conservative truth, where you sign up there for five bucks a month, it blesses my ministry here. And again, we are trying to get that goal of five new patrons for the month of December. We haven't gotten any yet. I'll keep you guys updated along the way, but I just want to remind you about that. See more info in the description. So this is B.M. Williams Primary School. It's located in Chesapeake, Virginia. And they have announced that the brand new After School Satan Club, which you guys know they've been popping up all over the country. I've been reporting on them, okay? They are set to hold their very first meeting on December 15th. This will be after school, of course, and a flyer had started to recently circulate around on social media. Of course, this is from the Satanic Temple. They are the ones who put on these events. And if you go to their website, you know, it basically tells you right here in, in plain English that the sole reason for their existence is to really counter the Good News Club, which is a evangelical Christian after-school club that are in a lot of schools as well. It's not really so much that they want to stand out on their own. What do they want to do? They want to counter Christ. Oh, doesn't that sound like something that Satan would do? Of course. Of course it is. Now, on the flyer, they use this cartoon image of Satan trying to make it look, you know, appealing for the kids and on the flyer, it also says this, that the After School Satan Club is here for the kids of Chesapeake. Sure you are. Because that's what Satan's always, he's always here for the kids, right? Such a good guy. And we're here to create an environment where children can learn and grow without the threat and fear that comes from other teachings where they talk about eternal damnation. Of course, referencing hell where satan is going to be for all of eternity and then the actual mention of satan came up here from one of the volunteers who works with the satanic temple and they had some interesting things to say about their true thoughts on satan and what the club is really all about i'm going to get to all of that plus what the parents are doing here guys in a second but first let me put a quick plug in here for my patreon you know i mentioned here at the top about this i got to do this being that i get no monetization on the yt platform this is the only way i have to let you guys know how you can help support me and my ministry here and what i do and you can do it for just five bucks a month now again you go to patreon.com slash conservative truth that link in the description again i have set the goal for the month of december we are looking for five new patrons to help us out this month we don't have any yet and again, I will keep you updated as we go here with the process to let you know where the numbers and where we are. So again, we can really use your help here. We want to finish this month and the year off strong. Now, when you sign up on the Patreon, you're going to get alerted for all my content. This is big because YT is not going to send you all the notifications for every time I do a video. It doesn't happen. So you're going to miss a lot of content unless you sign up to Patreon. Also, the other thing I really love about it, you can leave all your comments there and you can do it censorship free. You don't got to worry about YT blocking or removing what you're saying. It's happening more and more. People always tell me it shows you got all these comments, to, you know, all these comments, but only one of them is displaying. That's because YT, they, they'll hide whatever they find mildly offensive. So trust me, you want to go to Patreon where we could have a nice free flowing discussion on these topics. No interruptions, no trolls, no nonsense. You can even send me direct messages. So again, check it out. All the links down below in the description, patreon.com slash conservative truth. A big thank you to everybody already contributing and those thinking of doing so. Thank you as well. Your generosity is greatly appreciated. Now, the Satanic Temple saying this about Satan. We are non-theistic and we don't believe 
in an actual Satan being. No, no, the Satan that we believe in, we look to him as, you know, being imaginary. However, we know that he is somebody that fought for humanity, that, that fought for justice. He was this rebel. And that's how we view him. We're not sitting here in the meetings worshiping the devil. We're not trying to convert kids over to Satanism. Nothing like that at all. What the club does is it teaches critical thinking. It teaches compassion. It teaches about just how to embrace the, the, the beautiful world that we live in as a whole without getting into any of the other sort of dangerous theology that would, you know, you'd get from a Christian club, anything else like that at all. They said parents are more than welcome to come. Now, there is a permission slip that's attached with this that kids would need to get their parents to go ahead and sign before they can come to the club. But let me get back to what they said here about Satan. Let me say this. Satan is not imaginary. Satan is very real. But the way that they are putting this is a lie. And why is it a lie? Because the devil is a liar. You see how that all ties in there? Everything that they're saying here, that they don't believe in a literal Satan, it's a lie. That they're not trying to convert kids over to this, it's a lie. Remember, their whole existence is to counter these Christian clubs because they want to counter Jesus. This is what Satan's goal has been since the very beginning you notice how the plan that he has doesn't change, right? It doesn't ever change. It's the same. The game plan is always the same when it comes to Satan. So this is the nonsense that they're spewing to kids here on this flyer. And these parents are not buying it. They are standing up against us. In fact, on the same day of the launch of the club, on December 15th, there are groups that are going to be assembling together to hold a prayer service that will be held at 2 p.m. They're going to be praying against this. Now, whether that it shuts the club down altogether or it causes the satanic temple to say, you know what, eh, we're out of here. We don't want any part of this. Parents are getting together. They're going to be praying against this. They want no part of it. Now, some parents are excited about it. And one parent even wrote on Facebook after the flyer went around that they are going to be enrolling their second grader into the club. And the parent had the nerve to call the after school Satan club good news. Now, it is not good news whatsoever. Nothing like that at all. And, you know, another representative from the Satanic Temple had this to say that it was parents that contacted them back in October about the need for an after-school Satan club in Chesapeake. And it was the parents' request that has now brought the club here to the school. <laughs> I don't know if I believe that at all. Okay, I don't know if there's that many parents that are fixated upon Satan and wanting a club here at the school. Now, there could be some, but again, it goes back to the original point here that their whole appeal, their whole, you know, their whole campaign about the after school Satan club is a lie, a complete lie. Now, here's the other thing that might potentially put a damper on the club. And I mentioned this here at the top. Chesapeake. Five minutes away from here from this school is the Walmart location where that manager had gone onto a rampage and shot and killed all those people. And the tie-in with this is important because, and some of you may know about this, some may not, in the manifesto that was left here by the manager, stated that he was being controlled by Satan was influenced by Satan to do this. Not Jesus. No, no, not God. No, Satan. Again, five minutes away from the school where the after-school Satan club is going to be forming. That kind of um, takes the argument away here from the Satanic temple, doesn't it? Doesn't it take it away? What does that tie Satan into? Absolute evil absolute pure evil is what it does. Now, on December 12th, the Chesapeake Public Schools have announced that there will be a board meeting where the Satanic, the After School Satan Club will be back on the table as far as discussion about, you know, what to do about them in the future. If they're going to continue or not past the one meeting. These are monthly meetings, so there will be another one scheduled for January. 
But in light of everything here with what happened at the Walmart, with the concerned parents, could it be that potentially they may get knocked out of here? Now, on one side of it, and the school released this statement telling parents that, look, it's out of our hands. We can't discriminate. There are many other, you know, groups that rent out our space. They said this is not a school approved club. The school has nothing to do with it. But if we don't allow them to use our facilities, we could potentially be sued over it. So that is the response that they have given to the club being formed here uh, at their campus. But with the new board meeting coming up, it could be a one and done deal as it comes to the club. Let's hope so. And um, we'll continue exposing this for what it truly is. It's an act of evil. Uh, and this is an attempt to grab children and sway them away from God and get them over to the dark side. Remember, you got to start out early. That's always the goal. I will put more information on this for you guys down below here in the description. Like I welcome any thoughts you may have on this, especially if you are someone that lives there in Chesapeake or you're a parent, you got a child that attends uh, BM Williams Primary School, I'd like to offer any other insight, please feel free to do so. I'm not done just yet though, as I don't leave any video here without giving people the opportunity to receive Jesus as their Lord and Savior because we are in the last days and Christ is coming soon. You have to understand that uh, things are going to get much more tumultuous as we continue to march forward. Bible prophecy must unfold. And this is how we get to the return of the Lord. But you need to be make, sh make sure that you're walking with Christ in these end times. So if you have not yet accepted Jesus as your Lord and Savior, I want to lead you in a prayer to do that right now. In fact, this is a prayer that you can do in your own words. But I will give you the steps that you need to bring it before the Lord today. The first thing that you want to do right off the top, acknowledge you are a sinner. That is something that we all are. The good news, though, is this, is that God gave his only son, Jesus Christ, to die on that cross for the sins of all the world as he died and rose again for you and me. He paid the cost. What you have to do is repent of your sin. Repent means to turn from your sin, not just to say you're sorry and then you just jump back into your old ways. No. It means to actually turn from your sin, those lifestyles, habits, patterns, behaviors, things in your life that go against the word of God. If you humbly go before the Lord, though, and you ask him to forgive you, he'll wipe your sin away. The Bible says he doesn't remember it any longer. And then you invite Jesus into your life to be your Lord and Savior. When you do that, you become born again, a child of God. You will have eternal life. Trust me when I tell you there is no greater decision you will ever make than the one you do to give your life to Christ. And I pray you make that decision today. I'll have more on this down below. As I mentioned, you guys can let me know your thoughts. Don't forget the links to donate to our ministry are there as well. You go to Patreon dot com slash conservative truth where you could sign up for five bucks a month help us reach our december goal of getting five new patrons it is a great blessing if you can help us out thank you all so much for watching i really do appreciate it i'll be back with more you guys take care please be safe out there god bless each and every single one of you and i'll talk with you soon